Jake Gyllenhaal besó a Jennifer Aniston y cumplió todas sus fantasías que tenía de joven hormonal. I will say, uh, have had crush on her for years and working with her was not easy. You know, she was. It was. Uh, I was. Um, I. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. It was. Uh, it was. Lovely. Lo que no sabía era cómo reaccionaría Brad Pitt al ver la íntima imagen entre su esposa y el guapo actor. You know, you can't help but wonder in a situation because you're single, she's not, and you know we all know who she's married to. Now, do you ever wonder if, you know, Brad's gonna get upset if he sees his film and knows what you're doing? That's yeah, he was pissed. Right? Jake y Jennifer protagonizaron la recordada The Good Girl, donde vivieron un intenso romance para la pantalla pero que ambos recuerdan con mucha gracia por todo lo que pasaron durante las cariñosas escenas en cámara. Those scenes that are awkward like that. Yeah. You, you guys have a couple of those. Mm -hmm. A couple car scenes, a couple mm -hmm. hotel scenes, a couple in the back room, at the mm -hmm. store scenes. Mm -hmm. Who's more comfortable when it came to doing this? Just in question. Definitely. Just landed yeah. in your lap, That's because he's 20. I've been 20? with like a numerous 21. Mm. It's 21 now at least. <laughs> You've aged now. him, huh? Is yeah, that it? I aged him. <laughs> What was it like for you? I, I, I mean, it was, it was, uh, I had just come off of doing a lot of movies, making out with a lot of different women, so <laughs> it was, for me, it was just sort of like, This is you know, hot. just like, here's another one, and not just oh, like. Oh, another old broad. No, it was really great. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this no, is how you managed good. to get through that awkward part of the. Uh, this is truly really was. Can I tell you, it was laughing and having being this. I mean, he's the most. You know, 400 words just came into my mouth, and I couldn't choose which one to say. <laughs> the most. Obnoxious. <laughs> prima donna. Yeah, <laughs> loud, high speed, just 20 year old energy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, woo, yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, um, we just had fun. We just laughed it off, and then would slink away as fast as we could. El periodista seguía con la curiosidad y claramente tenía que hacer la pregunta de qué le parecía a Brad Pitt que su esposa se anduviera besando con este guapo joven. Y la forma en que ambos sacaron el tema es muy graciosa. You know, you can't help but wonder in a situation because you're single, she's not, mm -hmm. and you know we all know who she's married to. Now, do you ever wonder if, you know? Brad's gonna get upset if he sees his film. And knows what you're doing. Yeah, he was pissed. Was Remember he? when he yeah. came into your trailer he and he just knocked the trailer he just over? Lugged me. Yeah. <laughs> shook it from the outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was shook it from the outside. Back and forth like a little, like a. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> like a, a little popcorn. Like I'm trying to think of like the na <laughs> like of something inside of something, and you can hear it. Oh, it just was a joke that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it was. That was so a rough day. early right that now. That was a rough day for you. But I then I learned sure. to respect him from then on. Lo cierto es que ese encuentro entre Jake y Jennifer marcó para siempre al actor que hasta el día de hoy no puede olvidar lo que vivió junto a la actriz. You did a film with Jennifer Aniston. The movie was called The Good Girl, and you have even said, you know, gee, from yeah, you know, I had so much, such a crush on Jennifer for years, and now oh, yeah. all of a sudden I ended up in this, you know, romantic scenes with her. It was torture for you, right, as an actor? Oh yeah, it was torture. Yes, it was. Yes, but it was also you... not torture. I mean, come on, it was like a mix of both. Did you say to Jennifer Aniston, "Listen, Jennifer, I'm not trying to be rude here, but if you if you're feeling something." Protrusion or whatever, I, I can't control it. Protrusion. You, yeah, do you, do you have that conversation? I said it just like that. Yes, I said protrusion <laughs> or whatever. You're a gentleman, yes. Yes. Um, you know, weirdly, love scenes are, are awkward because there are maybe 30, 50 people watching it. You know, yes. maybe if you have a closed set, it's less. That doesn't turn me on. So um, right. most of the time, you know, you're like, it's oddly mechanical, right? Um, you're a professional. Then, Yes, and also it's a yeah. dance, right? Like it's right. a dance. Like you really do have to. You're choreographing for a camera, right? I mean, right. As, I mean, you can get in it, but it's one of those spaces like a fight scene. You know, you, it's it's you gotta choreograph those things. Incluso años más tarde comentó cuál fue su técnica para esas románticas e incómodas escenas que grabaron juntos. Do you remember a pillow? Uh, ah, I do the pillow technique. There was, yeah, the pillow technique was used. Uh, that was just preemptive and used generally always when actually in a horizontal place in that movie. Everything else was whatever it was. Because we did a lot of, I remember those two characters did a lot of making out on like boxes in a back room. So, right. 
what a wonderful thing. A pillow. A pillow saved you. She didn't know what the was going technique. on. You were able to. You have the to pillow technique. That. Jake Gyllenhaal y Jennifer Aniston nos regalaron ese bonito romance en pantalla que para el actor significó mucho más. Y es que claro, el amor que sentía por ello hizo que cada momento que vivieron juntos lo atesorara para siempre en su corazón. She's um she's a rough one. I, you know, not likable, so hard to compliment. Uh, I will say uh have had had a crush on her for years and working with her was not easy. You know, she was, it was, uh, I was, um, I, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. It was, uh, it was lovely. I, 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 you know, it wasn't hard. That's what I would say. Did you grow up watching Friends? Is that, is that where the, the crush developed like everybody? Not so much Friends, but like kind of just her personality from afar and movies that she's in and then some of Friends, but not like a huge Friends game. Yeah. But just who she is. 